Hey, it's Aaron, and today we're going to talk about General Strike. Now, uh, it was recently brought up and brought into the discourse primarily by another YouTuber known as um, American Johnson from the YouTube channel Non-Compete. I'm going to leave links in the description box below to, uh, to their channel. And this video that I'm doing today is basically a... Uh, kind of my own spin on a video that they just released, I believe it was yesterday. Uh, if you want to have this information given to you in a much more eloquent way, um, you can definitely go check out their channel. Like I said, link in the description box below. Uh, but we're gonna talk about it because it needs to be signal boosted and more people need to be knowing about General Strike 2020. Now, what exactly is General Strike 2020? Let's talk about it right now. One of the very first actions that are going to be taking place with this general strike is May Day. It's a historic day known throughout um, all of social libertarianism and uh, leftist anarchism uh, for being a day of rebellion. That is the day that people go and organize and demonstrate and this year is no different. May Day is of course May 1st and we are going to work towards three main goals. Those goals are don't work, don't buy stuff, and don't do it alone because you can't do any of this by yourselves. Now, it sounds kind of complicated, sounds kind of daunting. How are you gonna not work? How are you gonna not buy stuff? How are you going to not do it alone? Well, I'm gonna talk about that right now, so let's get into it. Now, the very first thing that I mentioned was don't work. Now, how exactly does that work? Well, uh, it basically functions in the idea that we are trying to perform as many strikes as possible. Now, you can't strike alone. That comes in at the very end when I said don't do this alone. Uh, and all of the things that I'm going to talk about have the caveat of don't do this alone. <laughs> I'm going to stress that very strongly. Um, but the very first thing that you want to think about when it comes to not working is organizing strikes. Um, if you want to learn how to organize, how to better understand, how to get people together and actually do things, um, the IWW is a wonderful resource to get information on how you can go about uh, organizing your workplace. And they are a radical unionist organization that has been around for a very long time and they want to help any people that are trying to organize their workforce. They want to help you. Um, and I know you can even follow them on Twitter and I, I'll leave a link to the description box below down there as well. And their DMs are always open. So if you wanna know how to do certain things, drop them a line and find out exactly how to do that. And you can also go to, like I said a moment ago, genstrike.org and uh, you can find out a lot more information about organizing and activism and that sort of thing on there. Now, anybody can organize. It's not nearly as daunting as it sounds, but it just takes a certain amount of practice and it takes a certain amount of knowledge. Now, you can gain a lot of that knowledge from the resources that I told you about just a moment ago. And obviously, <laughs> because I've been doing this for a little while now, I have a bunch of different video series uh, talking exactly on how we can go about organizing things um, anarchistically and uh, a bunch of different protesting tactics and that sort of thing. And those will be leaved has links in the description box as well. Now there are a lot of different types of strikes that you can go about organizing and they can vary from anything from uh, a rent strike to a debt strike to a labor strike. Um, all of these different strikes have different ways of going about doing them and they all basically function to get people together and organize to collectively bargain for their rights. Now if you're unable to organize any sort of strike or protest or that sort of thing that's okay because you can still do do other things as well that are completely in the realm of legality uh, that will also help us block up this capitalist system. And remember, right now is the perfect time to be doing this because everything is shutting down. So the few uh, businesses that are still left running um, are ones that when people shut them down, they're going to notice that they're shut down really quickly. Oh, and uh, quick caveat, 
I do not condemn nor condone any of the things I'm talking about in this video. I'm simply just giving you information. You can do with it what you will. Now, if you can't do a strike specifically, you can do other things like I was saying just a moment ago, such as slowdowns or sick outs. I was talking about slowdowns and sick outs in a video just the other day, uh, but for a brief um, explanation of what they are, basically a slowdown uh, can happen in many different ways. You can physically just do your job slower uh, or you can institute some sort of work to rule um, idea, which is basically you have to do every single task 100% by the book, always to the rule. You do not show up a minute before or after you're supposed to start your shift. Uh, you do everything exactly 100% the way that it was laid out in the rule book, not cutting any corners, not going any faster, and just taking your time. And then, of course, there's something known as a sick out where everybody doesn't go into work and they call in sick. Um, now, again, you're going to want to organize with other people. Do not do this alone. That's rule number three uh, for uh, Gen Strike 2020. Don't do it alone. We're going to have to be going by the axiom from each according to their ability to each according to their need. Not every single person is going to be able to put in exactly the same amount of work, but that's how life is, and it's not that big of a deal. The next thing that we have to talk about, number two, is, of course, don't buy stuff. Now, don't buy stuff is pretty obvious. On May Day, we want to make sure, on May 1st, that people aren't going out and spending money and actually using this capitalist system the way that it's meant to be used. We want to stop all of the purchases. We want to slow down all of the industry. We want to put a blockade on the uh, capitalist businesses from being able to make money. That's kind of the whole point of this entire endeavor. Um, so not buying stuff is extremely important. You have to make sure that you stock up. You have to make sure that you're in a position where you can keep away at least one day's worth of food and supplies and that sort of thing. So you can handle having an entire day where you don't have to go to the store. At this point, with being in self-isolation and quarantine, I'm sure a lot of people have experience with this now. And it's kind of coming uh, as second nature, I would hope, to a lot of people. Um, but if it's not, this is a great way to practice that. And... Uh, it's very important that we do because we have to try to become as self-sustaining and self-sufficient as we possibly can if we actually want to work towards building dual power structures and uh, building communities that can actually rely on each other instead of relying on a state structure. So that's what we have to be doing right now. And of course, like I said all throughout this video, number three, don't do it alone. There's no way that you can do any of this by yourself because alone we are weak. Together we are very strong. Alone we're like the flame of a single candle and together we're like a blazing fucking inferno. I've made that analogy several times before and it's true. With, um, without any of the people coming together and working with one another to make sure that these strikes go through, it'll just be one person that doesn't pay their rent or doesn't go into work or doesn't do whatever, doesn't pay their bills. And then that means that that one person is vulnerable and they'll get fired, they'll get evicted, they'll <laughs> whatever, go to jail. And that's not what we want to have happen. We want to have solidarity and unity and get these people working together so they can actually achieve the goals that they set out to achieve. And you can't do that alone. You have to do that with organizing. You have to do it with the masses. It's the only way that we can collectively bargain for our rights. And to do that, a wonderful way is to get involved in an organization, to get involved in some sort of org. It doesn't matter if it's IWW, DSA, SRA, Food Not Bombs, Anarchist, Marxist, Leninist, Socialist groups all across the board. If you can get involved in one of those groups, environmental groups, vegan groups, I don't care what it is, then if you're getting involved with those groups, then you're going to be able to work together to achieve your goals. That's the whole point of this entire thing. Remember, the whole strategy of the Hydra is to make sure that we have as many protests and as many demonstrations and as many power structures being built as possible so we can create some sort of counter economy for humanity to fall into instead of just falling into complete barbarism or fascism. Now, if you can't find an organization in your area, 
that's fine. You can make one yourself. You can get together with family, friends, workers, anybody that's in your neighborhood and you can actually start an organization on your own. It doesn't necessarily have to be outwardly radical maybe make it as inwardly radical as you possibly can, but you can make it so it's something that can be inclusive and welcoming to people who might not otherwise be interested in that sort of thing. And again, there's going to be a whole bunch of links in the description box below, but check out GenStrike. 2020.org they have it laid right out how you can do these sorts of things it's a wonderful resource and it'll explain exactly how we do this now if you can't actually do any of those things that's fine too maybe you don't have a job maybe you don't have a house maybe you live with your parents or whatever it is and you still want to get involved there are still things that you can go out and do that is extremely helpful uh, one of those things that you can do right from your computer right now is is to basically use your platform to push General Strike 2020 and this May Day event. You can use your Twitter, your Facebook, your whatever, and actually push this message out there because we need agitprop. We need people talking about these sorts of things so it spreads like a virus to use kind of an appropriate analogy for this situation. But the other thing that you can also do outside of using your own platform to push these sorts of things is to use your voice to push content creators and thought leaders and influencers all across the board to push these things as well. You, as an audience member, have a lot of power over the people that you are watching. I know that. I listen to my audience all the time. A lot of people do. A lot of people feel like they have to. It's sometimes like the mob rule. We should use that mob to our advantage. Not just is it important for us to use our collective bargaining um, abilities to push people in government and in real life. We can do it on social media as well. We can do it in the online sphere too. And as long as we're doing it in a way that's constructive and not bullying and dogpiling and mean, then I think that that's a great method of getting people to push that message as well. The last thing that you can do, and I'm going to read it off my uh, teleprompter over here, my TV, uh, and it's <laughs> basically to donate to mutual aid organizations, hardship funds, and strike relief funds that allow striking workers to take off more time. And again, more information about this can be found at genstrike2020.org. Go check it out. Get involved. Get invested. This stuff is so important. This is how we actually make a difference. Electoralism isn't going to save you. Some savior, some leader, some superhero isn't going to fly down you have to save you so get out there get active politics isn't a spectator sport and uh that's all i have to say if you do get a chance check out all the links in the description box below very important in this video and uh also make sure that you hit that little bell button you might not be subscribed to the channel they're unsubscribing people every day uh, and hit the little bell button so you get notifications every time i put out a video thank you very much for watching have a nice day